Today I'm going to teach you guys how to add numbers in SAP ABAP. So I give the program name as whitest underscore add numbers. Click on create. Full description. Okay, click on the type of the program. For now, I hit the executable program as a type and click on save. Now, uh, because we are not going to transport this object, we choose a local object as the package. So the package, we have to choose local object here. Okay. Now, adding the two numbers. Okay. So let's declare a variable num1 type integer. So this num1 is a variable which is of type integer. Then I declare a variable num2 which is of type integer again. Okay and i want num3 as a type integer again okay so what basically i'm going to do here i'm going to uh, store the value of num1 plus num2 into num3 okay so let's assign a value of uh, 100 to num1 and a value of uh, 200 to num2 okay now in ABAP, the assigning is from right to left. So 100 gets stored in num1. That is what it means. So I'll comment it here. Assign. Sorry for the typo. Assign num100 to num1. Okay. Now here, assign 200 to num2. Now, in the next step, I'm going to add num1 and num2 and the result has to go and sit in num3. So, num1 plus num2. First, the right side gets executed. Okay. And the result gets stored in the num3. So, num3. Sorry for the typo again. Num3 stores num1 plus num2 let us comment it out here okay now i'll write the, with the write statement i'll display the output of num3 okay so if i keep a breakpoint here let me check the program first the program is syntactically correct activate the program and then i keep a session breakpoint breakpoint is nothing but to stop the execution of the program in a particular line in a path, you have to place a breakpoint on the corresponding line line of the code. Okay, so here I want placing a breakpoint on line number 18. Okay, now click on execute. Here you'll find lots of tabs. I choose desktop 3 because that's my favorite. Okay, now I double click on num1. As you can see, 100 is assigned to num1. Okay, double click on num2. You can see 200 is assigned to num2. Okay, the num3 stores num1 plus num2. Okay, so as you can see, the breakpoint, the cursor is on line number 18. Why? Because we have kept a session breakpoint on line number 18. Okay, so what happens is during the execution of the program, when we clicked on execute from our main program, the cursor comes and stops on line number 18. Okay. Now, what is num3? It is not executed because this uh, cursor is in, still in line number 18. Okay. So, if you press on F5 or if you click on single step, the button on top uh, highlighted. Okay. If you press on F5 or this button, it goes to the next step, which is write num3. Okay, now you can see, observe here that num3 stores the value 300, which is 100 plus 200. Now I need to see the output. Okay, now if you need to see the output from this debugger screen, okay, you have to press F8 on the keyboard or click on continue on this, the highlighted section. Okay, now I click on this. It'll show me the output as 300, which is num3. Thanks for watching.